Hey everyone, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another episode of Savant's Tech Talk. Reports suggest that people in the United States are clearly interested in both SpaceX's Starlink and 5G network connectivity as potential home internet services. However, it's still not clear which alternative has more potential compared to conventional cable broadband. The demand for better internet connectivity is still there for many reasons. And in today's video, we're gonna look at which type of connectivity is more suitable between these two choices. As always, if you find this topic interesting, then you can let us know by hitting that like button and subscribing to this channel for more videos. You can also let us know if you find it interesting by saying so in the comment section down below. Now let's jump into it. Fulfilling the world's insatiable lust for broadband. So in case you aren't familiar with these technologies, let's do a quick overview. First comes the 5G network connectivity, which is also referred to as the fifth generation mobile network. And it's a wireless mobile network that comes after the 4G network. Now that we're all so used to 4G, and we've seen how much of an upgrade it was over 3G, the expectations for 5G would be the same. But the thing is, it doesn't only meet these expectations, but it exceeds them in every single way. Theoretically, 5G will probably be able to reach speeds that are 20 times faster than 4G. So if your 4G connectivity is giving you a download speed of 10 megabytes per second, 5G is more likely to provide you with a speed of 200 megabytes per second. So this means that it has the power to download at least one gigabyte upwards worth of movies in seconds. The fastest real-time speed 5G network connectivity has achieved so far is a whopping 8.5 gigabytes per second. Samsung achieved this in their lab test, and it is the fastest in the world. Apart from entertainment uses like streaming 3D movies, it'll be used for a wide range of software applications, automobiles, etc, etc. But the technology does have some drawbacks, with the main drawback being the issue of range. If we look at a Samsung 5G tower, it has a range of around 500 meters or half a kilometer. So this would mean that there would be an entire grid of 5G towers in every block. And this would mean additional costs for companies for the development and maintenance of 5G towers. And in the end, these costs would trickle down to the consumers. Now let's look at Elon Musk's venture, Starlink. Starlink's mission is to cover the entire globe with a constellation of satellites, offering internet access to literally every person on Earth. The company's planning to install an army of 42,000 satellites to develop an entire grid in the Earth's lower orbit. Starlink is also made with the idea to get some funding for the upcoming Mars missions. The internet speed that Starlink intends to reach is around one gigabyte per second, which isn't bad. In fact, it's great, but it's a lot less compared to 5G, but it's still 10 times faster than 4G. So to put it simply, it's definitely an upgrade to anything we have right now. Now let's have a look at the applications of Starlink. In October of 2020, the tech giant Microsoft partnered with SpaceX to connect Starlink's satellite internet service with Microsoft Azure's latest modular data center. These organizations had also previously announced their plans to further embed Starlink with Microsoft's global network, including Azure Edge devices. This would mean simply integrating SpaceX's ground stations to Azure networking capabilities. Similarly, SpaceX and Google Cloud partnered with data, cloud services, and applications to people at the network edge through the Starlink satellite network. According to a report released on May 13th by Google Cloud, it will install SpaceX ground centers and data centers at Google to offer private as well as cloud access to companies and businesses, widening the areas in which they can access mission critical services. Now let's have a look at which one might be better between Starlink and 5G. Now the first thing is speed. And as we mentioned earlier, this is where 5G really overpowers Starlink. Then comes connectivity. When it comes to connectivity, no one's really the winner in this area since 5G is great in high density regions such as metropolitan cities, but it's not so great in rural areas because of the lower range. But this is just because of the segregation of fewer people in a larger landscape. In this scenario, building an entire grid of 5G networks is not the right solution both economically or feasibly. Instead, Starlink has a competitive edge for the rural regions, mainly because it's space internet and all you'd need is a dish on your roof or near your window to get it functioning properly. And this is the main motivation of Starlink, to serve the 3% of 4% of the hardest to reach customers. 
And this is their market vision because if we look across the world, there are places even in developed regions where there's no internet connectivity. Both 5G and Starlink are different, but equally competitive and even complementary technologies. 5G devices will be mobile and are less likely to get affected by line of sight to the sky. However, Starlink devices will be fixed, which implies that they're not as mobile as 5G devices because of the antenna size required. Starlink can run a space-based backhaul carrier, which is achieved by supporting a lot of solutions. Starlink and 5G are both extraordinary technologies with their own pros and cons. However, innovations in technology and networks always bring remarkable advancements to society. Whatever the future holds, it will be a big step forward for humanity. So there we have it, a comparison of Starlink versus 5G. Once again, if you found this video interesting, don't forget to let us know by hitting that like button and subscribing to this channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.